Hello everyone and welcome to another art lesson with me, Mr. Richardson. This is part two of our art activity with The Duckling Gets a Cookie. So last episode we did a drawing of our duckling, nicely coloured in. And so this is the second part where we're going to create a background for our duckling picture. So we're going to be working with collage, which means to cut and paste. So you will need some coloured paper for this activity. So I've just got a bunch of colours here. I've got some autumn colours here because I'm going to be turning these into trees. And I've got a background uh, colour as well. Now if you don't have coloured paper at home, that is fine. You can use some plain paper. You can do some cut and paste with magazine pictures or pictures from uh, junk mail, whatever you can find. You'll also need a glue stick, a Grello pencil, a pair of scissors, and a black marker. So grab all your stuff and let's get started. Okay, so if you have got your big piece of paper, if you've got one, then you need to turn it so it's landscape, so it's going across ways rather than up and down. Now, you can do whatever background you want for your duckling. Where is your duckling going to be? Now, it doesn't have to be outside. It could be in your lounge room, watching TV. It could be at the shops. It could be at a pond, at the park. Uh, where else could your duckling be? Mine is going to be in the botanical gardens. So I am going to do a whole bunch of trees. But again, as I said, it is up to you what you want to do. So if you like this idea, then surely you could do this one. But if you've got something different, go for it. So I've folded my piece of paper in half, so I've got two different layers. So when I cut through them, I'm going to end up with two shapes that are identical. They are exactly the same. Okay, so there's my two yellow trees. And I'm going to do the same with my orange one. So your trees can be whatever shape you want them to be. So I'm going to go ahead and do a few more. I'll be back in a moment. So I've got all of my autumn leaf coloured trees of all different types of shapes here. Now, before I glue them all on, I'm going to get my black marker and I'm going to add some simple lines on them to make the tree trunk and the branches. So for example, this one, okay, from the top to the bottom, and I can do some little spiky bits here, just to add some details to it. And this one, Wavy lines and this one. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off all the other trees and I'm going to draw the lines on them and I'm going to glue them into position. And just like magic, ta-da! I have glued down all of my lovely autumn trees. I'm just going to add some tree trunks a little bit further down onto the page, the ones that I can see. Pretty much all of them. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut out the duckling picture that I had from the last activity. So carefully cut right beside that line on the outside of your duckling. Hold the paper in your one hand. The scissors always point forwards, like you're driving straight forward, like you are a car, a bike. 
a scooter until you get to a corner and you don't turn the scissors but you grab the paper and you turn the steering wheel and flip it around so the scissors continue to drive forward and we're cutting right beside that line. Make sure that you hold your scissors, your paper off the tabletop. So you don't want to have them stuck here because it's very hard to cut when it's all stuck close to the table. You want to hold it up in the air and then keep turning the paper. So see how I'm turning it around with my hand? And I keep the paper inside the middle of my scissors. I don't want to keep snipping like this because it gives me little jaggedy bits. I'm going to try and cut and turn at the same time. It can be a little bit tricky doing those two things at once. So it's all about practicing and keep trying. Okay, I've cut my duckling out. Try to trim as much of the white paper off as possible. It's quite tricky cutting out these really skinny small bits here with the legs and the feet and the beak. Now don't worry if you accidentally cut those bits off and you end up with a pair of legs that are separate from the duck. You can always glue the duck's body on and then glue the legs separate that look like they are joining to the body afterwards. So again, get my glue stick, put the glue around the edge of every part and also carefully hold those legs down and the feet so when you glue it, it doesn't tear. And I'm gonna place my duckling on my autumn trees picture and press it with your hands so it's it's stuck flat so if you end up with any flappy bits like the duckling it's flappy put some more glue on and press it with your hand and that way it's not gonna look like the picture is flying off the page. This is my duckling wandering through the park, but he doesn't have a cookie yet. So I'm sure you can work out what the next stage is for your next art lesson. So here is my duckling with the autumn tree background. So remember, you can do any cut and paste background you want. It doesn't have to be trees. It doesn't have, even have to be colored paper. It can be what, with whatever paper you have at home. So you have to get a little bit creative if you haven't got colored paper, but that is okay. So we have done two stages now. We have done our duckling, we have done our background. Really good to outline your duckling with the black texture so you can see that it pops out from the background there. So if you haven't done the black outline of your duckling, make sure you do that as well. And then your next art session is the final stage. Stay tuned. Have fun with this activity. Can't wait to see what you come up with your cut and paste background. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye.